Well, this is the season of love and one organization working with another to show love to one lady who needed the cover of love to supply one of her daily needs. Kishla Adeli shares her story in this feature, what's hot and what's not. Okay. You can put buckets and whatever you want to catch rain, but when you listen, you hear boom, mm -hmm. the ceiling drop. That's the fear that Elizabeth McPhee has lived with since last year. Successive hurricanes left the roof of her house severely damaged and deprived her of the comforts of home. And I haven't slept in a bed since then. I slept right in that chair from, from the storm. I'm afraid to go in the room because I had a snake drop from one of the ceilings. So, you know. These days, is, people are going through a lot who have this problem. That reality touched the hearts of the Bahamas Press Club, Kiwanis Club, and Woodside Insurance, who have teamed up to change it. We've been trying to get help, and the help has not been forthcoming. So during this period of um, uh, Valentine, we look at it as a, a labor of love. Um, you'd be surprised to know who's in need, and that's what we're here for, to help those that are in need. A job like this would cost about $5,000 in labor and 3000 on materials. Contractor Alan Bain is taking on the labor of love. Structural repairs to the rafters, to the main frame of the roof, uh, removing uh, damaged plywood. Actually, we're going to remove the whole entire roof and we're going to uh, repair it within three to four weeks' time, providing rain because uh, I have included an extra month because I know to be a right now approaching the rainy season uh, like we have on and off heavy uh, torrential rains so three to four weeks are uh, we gonna have a roof on and this mark will be able to live comfortably this is a story the Bahamas Press Club wants to repeat nationwide and they want everyone to play a role the Press Club are uh, disaster relief fund we got we raising funds to help persons other persons throughout the community throughout the country we hope to even go into the family islands and just help people and we're encouraging corporate Bahamas we're encouraging residents we're encouraging everyone whatever help you can give even if you give a plywood to help somebody because the government can't do it alone as for the first recipient of this loved gift she would probably take this over flowers and chocolates any day I thank God for this group that has come to help me and I'm very grateful this morning Keisha Adderley ZNS Network News